Hi guys, and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I want to talk about a daily gold farm that you can do with any of your characters that have already unlocked the Molten Front from Cataclysm Whoop. And as you can see, this is something that will probably take you between 10 to 20 minutes maximum. And each time you will have a chance of getting an item that you can then sell on the auction house for up to 200,000 gold, especially on North American realms. So as I mentioned, this gold farm will take place in Mount Igel and will be linked to the Molten Front from Cataclysm War. So really the only requirement that you have is to have unlocked this on your character and also to have unlocked all the different daily quests as we will see. So I'm not going to explain exactly all the different steps in order for you to unlock the Molten Front and all the different respective quests. As you can see, there is a really good guide on Warhead that explains everything. And so I will post it in the description. And if you haven't done it yet, then I will really encourage you to do that on some of your characters. Two things to keep in mind is the fact that first of all, this is something that isn't account wide. So you will need to do it on each character you want to do this farm with. And also, if you haven't started at all, it will take you probably at least 30 days to unlock all the different quests and everything needed in order to do this farm. Also, you will need to have all these different quests right here completed. So filling the Moonwell, additional armaments, and calling the Ancients in order to then have access to the bag that we will be farming in today's video. So basically, when you have unlocked the Molten Front, you will then be able every day to get a lot of different daily quests. All these daily quests will be taking place inside of the Molten Front and also just outdoor, right here at the Sanctuary of Madorn. Usually, you will have to start by doing the four different quests outside of the Molten Front at the Sanctuary of Madorn. And when you are done with that, you will then be able to have access to the Molten Front and do all the other quests that are inside this area. And the reason why we want to do this different daily quest is simply because each time you complete the quest, you will receive some of these different mark of the world tree. And with this different mark of the world tree, you can then go around this area and here you will find a lot of different vendors and some of them are selling some really interesting things. So the one right now that we are really interested in is Zen Vorka. And the reason why is because he's selling this cash right here. And inside this cash, you will have a very small percent of chance at getting this pet right here, the Searing Scorchling that you can then learn, cage and sell on the auction house. So keep in mind, this is a small percent of drop. There is, I believe, only 5%. And so you will need to open quite a lot of these different cash in order to get a chance at getting the pet. But one over important thing that is important to note is the fact that each day you will be able to get 31 of this mark of the world tree when completing all the different daily quests. Again, it should take you maybe around 10 to 15 minutes maximum. And then like that, it means that every day per character you're doing this farm on, you will be able to have one cash. So as you can see, the sell rate for this pet is 0.030, which is really not too bad. And then the average value on European realms is 93 to 108,000 gold. And then on North American realms is 292 to 270,000 gold. So you can really make a lot of gold if you manage to get your hands on this pet. Another important thing to note is the fact that this vendor right here, Damek Bloombeard, will also be selling all these different blacksmithing plants. And some of them are really, really good, especially one of these different plants that you might want to pick up is the one for the witch hunters harvesters. This is a pole arm that has a unique appearance and as you can see, it looks like that. And this one is selling super well and for a lot of gold. As you can see, the average value is around 10k on European realms and you can sell it with a sell rate of 0.096. So keep in mind that again, if you unlock the Molten Front on a blacksmithing character, you can then buy all these different plants and craft these different weapons and sell them on the auction house. You also have a few for engineering, but really, these different plans for blacksmithing are also really good for gold making. So there are different parts and each time you will unlock new daily quests each day. So basically what you want to do is if you are not camping in the Mount Igel area, you can go in either Stormwind or Grimar and then use the portal and fly directly to Mount Igel and to the Sanctuary of Malorn. 
So when you are here, you will receive four different daily quests. And normally these daily quests are really fairly easy. You just have to kill a few mobs, do a few things in the north of the map, kill a mini boss, kill a few more edit mobs. And like that, you will have completed the four first daily quests. And the last one will ask you to basically go in the mountain front. You will need to use this portal. And inside, you will be able to complete this final quest. Then, as soon as you arrive in the Molten Front, here you will have access to another part of all the different daily quests. So here you really want to take all these different daily quests, make sure to also pick up the one that is inside the little cave. And then, like that, you will just have to kill a bunch of mobs, do a bunch of activities in the first part of the zone. And again, this is something that normally should only take you a few minutes, it's extremely easy. And when you're done with the second part of the daily quest line, you will then be asked to go and fight a boss where there are all the different flames. So when you're doing that, you will then be teleported into like a cave or you'll just fall into a cave. Here you will have a few more daily quests to do. And when you are done with the different daily quests inside of the cave, you will be able to go up and then go see for the almost final part of the daily quest line. So here you will be asked to go on this little island. You have to jump on some of the little pillars in order to go on the island. And you will have a few more daily quests to complete. So here again, it's very easy, something that should not take you too long. But as you can see, sometimes you will have one quest that is a little bit long because you need to open this hippogriff and then go and kill a bunch of mobs. And so this is something that sadly can take a little bit longer than just the usual daily quest. But still, overall, this is really easy and fast to do. And when you are done with all of that, you will then be asked to go kill the fire lieutenant. And then this is the final part. And when you are done with that, you can go back to the main camp base at the beginning of the map. And here you will be able to complete the last quest and then to buy the cash from the vendor. So for instance here, I have two of them to open. So let's see if I can get lucky again. Keep in mind, there is really only a low drop chance for this pet. And this is the reason why it's also so expensive. So let me open the first one. And as you can see, I got a random green BOE, something that is not worth anything. And then let me open the second one. And again, this is a random wall drop green BOE that isn't worth anything. So this is still something that I would say can be really interesting to do. Also, again, with this Molten Front activity, you will be able to unlock a lot of different things, a lot of different vendors. You will be able to buy different transmog items, different toys. You will also be able to get the meta achievement that will reward you with a pretty cool mount. And this is this one right here, the Flame Ward Hippogriff. So it's still worth it to do it, even though sometimes you might not make a lot of gold. Also keep in mind with the blacksmithing plants only, you can make quite a lot of gold selling these different crafted items. So overall, I would say definitely something I would recommend you to try and do. But again, this is very RNG based. And so sadly, sometimes you won't be lucky enough to get the pet and make any gold whatsoever. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you will be able to make some gold with today's gold farm. I will be back very soon with more guides and more videos. And in the meantime, I wish you all a great Sunday. Bye.